Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the sixth series of clinical research and pharmacovigilance. In this uh, video, we are going to see about uh, the clinical trial personnel. So, who are the personnel? The investigator, study coordinator, sponsor, and contract research organization. So, first is investigator. In a clinical trial, the investigator is the individual responsible for the overall conduct of the study at a specific study site. The investigator is often a medical doctor, a physician or another healthcare professional who oversees the trial's activities, ensures uh, the participant's safety and adheres to the study protocol, ethical guidelines and regulatory requirements. The investigator plays a critical role in the successful execution of the clinical trial. Let us see the roles and responsibilities of the investigator. First is protocol development. Uh, he has to collaborate with the sponsors. Uh, he or she has to collaborate with the sponsors, research teams and the relevant experts to develop the study protocol. Uh, he ensures uh, that uh, the protocol outlines the study objectives, methods, procedures, eligibility criteria and endpoints. The investigator uh, submits the study protocol to an institutional review board or the ethics committee for approval and it is a, 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 he has to ensure uh, that the trial adheres to the local and international ethical guidelines and regulatory requirements. Then informed consent. The investigator has to obtain the in informed consent from the potential participants ensuring uh, they understand the study's purpose, procedures, risks, benefits and their rights. Uh, the address, uh, part, uh, he or she addresses the participant questions and uh, concerns about the trial. The investigator has to screen the potential participants to determine their eligibility for the study based on the inclusion and exclusion criteria. The investigator has to enroll eligible participants and maintain accurate participant records. Then study conduct. The investigator has to implement the study procedures as outlined in the protocol. Uh, investigator has to monitor the participant's safety and well-being throughout the trial. The investigator has to collect the data accurately and promptly according to the study schedule. Then safety monitoring. The investigator has to report the adverse events, serious adverse events <coughs> and safety concerns to the appropriate regular authorities and the sponsors. The investigator has to implement safety measures to protect the participants. Then uh, the investigator has to uh, ensure the, the accurate and complete uh, data collection, documentation and reporting and uh, the investigator has to maintain the source documents and case report forms that is CRFs in compliance with the regulations. The investigator has to communicate regularly with the study team, sponsor, monitors and regulatory authorities. Uh, the investigator has to address any queries or issues related to the study conduct, data collection or safety. Then the investigator has to uh, uh, oversee the protocol amendments. Uh, the investigator has to obtain necessary approvals for protocol amendments and ensure that the study personnel are informed and trained on the changes. Then uh, trial monitoring and audits. The investigator has to uh, participate in the monitoring visits and the audits conducted by the sponsors regulatory agencies or independent monitors. Uh, the investigator has to address any findings and implement corrective actions as needed. Then the investigator has to maintain accurate and organized records of study related documents, correspondence and regulatory approvals. Then the investigator should uh, complete the study according to the protocol uh, or the sponsor's instructions. There should be a study close out ensure uh, that all the required documents are submitted for the study closure. Publication and report, reporting. The investigator has to collaborate on the analysis and interpretation of the study and results. Uh, the investigator has to contribute to the publication of the study findings in scientific journals and presentations. Then conflict of interest. The investigator has to dis disclose any conflicts of interest that could potentially impact the study's integrity or objectivity. 
then study coordinator the next personnel is study coordinator in the clinical trial a study coordinator also known as research coordinator or clinical research coordinator is a healthcare professional or research professional who assists the principal investigator in the coordination and management of various activities related to the execution of clinical trials the study coordinator plays a pivotal role or important role in ensuring that the trial is conducted smoothly efficiently and in compliance with the protocols regulations and ethical guidelines that to see the roles and responsibilities of the study coordinator first is uh, protocol implementation the study coordinator has to uh, familiarize uh, themselves uh, with the study protocol procedures and requirements uh, the st uh, study coordinator has to ensure that all the study related activities are carried out in accordance with the protocol next is participant recruitment and enrollment the study coordinator identifies uh, the potential participants who meet the inclusion and exclusion criteria and uh, the uh, they have to obtain informed consent from the participants and address their questions and concerns then data collection and documentation similar to the investigator the study coordinator should collect the uh, accurate and complete data from the participants uh, during the study visits they have to maintain well organized and uh, detailed case report forms or the source documents then uh, study procedures study coordinator has to perform study procedures as outlined in the protocol such as administering interventions treatments or assessments then the study ha coordinator has to monitor the participants progress throughout uh, the trial and he has to manage it and uh, the study coordinator has to address any adverse events changes in the health status or concerns raised by the participants the study coordinator has to serve as a liaison between the study investigator participants and other members of the research team uh, communicate regularly with the study participants to ensure adherence to the study requirements then the regulatory compliance study coordinator has to ensure that the study complies with the ethical guidelines regulations and institutional policies and uh, the study coordinator has to assist with obtaining and maintaining the necessary regulatory approvals then study documentation the study coordinator has to maintain accurate and up to date study records including participant concerned forms regulatory documents and correspondence then monitoring and quality control the study coordinator has to assist with the monitoring uh, visits from the sponsors monitors or regulatory authorities address the queries findings and corrective actions as needed then uh, data management the study coordinator has to ensure the accurate and time timely entry of uh, study uh, data into the database and the study coordinator has to verify a data accuracy and resolve discrepancies as required then training and education the study coordinator has to provide uh, training to the study personnel including the investigators and the study st site staff a study coordinator has to educate the participants about uh, the study procedures and the expectations then study close out the study coordinator has to assist uh, with the study close out activities including archiving documents and submitting the required reports then uh, administrative tasks apart from this the study coordinator has to coordinate the logistics for the study visits equipment and supplies and uh, the study coordinator has to assist with uh, scheduling participant appointments and maintaining appointment calendars then conflict resolution as like the investigator the study coordinator has to address any issues or conflicts that arise during the course of the study then professional development the study co coordinator has to stay updated on relevant regulations guidelines and best practices in the clinical research the next personnel is uh, sponsor in clinical trial the sponsor is the individual organization company or institution uh, that takes on the responsibility uh, of uh, for initiating managing and uh, funding the study the sponsor has a crucial role in ensuring the trial is conducted ethically safely and in compliance with the regulations and the guidelines let us see the roles and responsibilities of the sponsor initiating the trial the sponsor has to 
develop the study concept design and protocol and provide uh, the necessary funding and resources to conduct the trial then regulatory submissions sponsor has to uh, assist in uh, submitting the study protocol and relevant documents to the regulatory authorities and ethical committees for approval then study oversight sponsor has to monitor and supervise the progress of the trial to ensure it is uh, conducted according to the protocol and regulatory requirements then quality control the study sponsor has to ensure the accuracy and integrity of the data collected during the trial and the sponsor has to be cautious in implementing the quality control measures uh, to maintain the reliability of the study results then safety monitoring sponsor has to collect and review the safety data and adverse event reports a sponsor has to take appropriate actions to protect the participants safety then data management sponsor has to uh, oversee the data collection management and analyze to ensure data quality and integrity then investigator selection and training sponsor has a major role in uh, selecting the qualified investigators and study sites to conduct the trial uh, sponsor has to provide training and support to the study personnel including investigators and study coordinators then trial supplies and materials sponsor has to ensure that the necessary investigational products equipment and supplies are available at the study sites then regulatory compliance sponsor has to ensure the trial is uh, conducted in compliance with the relevant regulations guidelines and ethical standards then financial and contractual agreements sponsor has to have a role in negotiating in and establishing financial agreements contracts and agreements with the study sites and vendors then data sharing and reporting sponsor has a role in ensuring uh, that the study results are reported accurately and transparently to the regulatory agencies ethical committees and the scientific community then risk management sponsor has to identify the potential risks and developing strategies to mitigate them uh, sponsor has to have a, a contingency plan in the in place for unforeseen events that may impact the trial then study closure and reporting sponsor should have a overseeing study closure activities including data analysis reporting of results and archiving of the study documents then contract research organization a contract research organization or a cro is a specialized company or organization that provides various services to pharmaceutical biotechnology medical device companies and academic institutions involving in involved in clinical research and drug development cro's offer a wide range of expertise and resources to assist in planning conducting managing and monitoring the clinical trials efficiently and effectively they play a significant role in supporting sponsors such as pharmaceutical companies throughout the entire clinical trial process <coughs> let us see the roles and responsibilities of cro's first is study design and protocol development cro's uh, have a role in uh, collaborating with the sponsors to design the study protocols and develop uh, efficient trial designs provide input on scientific and operational aspects of the study site selection and management cro's identify the select uh, uh, and identifying and selecting suitable uh, investigative sites for the trial managing site contracts budgets and training cro's have a role in uh, participant recruitment and enrollment developing recruitment strategies to attract and enroll eligible participants implement the enrollment initiatives to meet the enrollment targets then cro's uh, have a role in uh, clinical monitoring conduct monitoring visits to ensure that the sites are adhering to protocols regulations and good clinical practices and ensure data quality principal uh, participant uh, safety and regulatory compliance then data management and biostatistics cro's have a role and responsible for designing and implementing the data capture systems and electronic data capture platforms manage and analyze uh, the clinical trial data to generate accurate and reliable results then regulatory submissions and compliance cro's uh, assist uh, with the regulatory submissions to obtain approvals from uh, health authorities and ethics committees ensure compliance with the local and international regulations and guidelines 
then safety reporting CROs have a role in monitoring and reporting adverse events and serious adverse events to regulatory authorities and uh, sponsors project management a CRO should uh, oversee the overall project timeline milestones and budgets CROs uh, have a role in uh, coordinating various aspects of trial to ensure timely execution uh, clinical supplies and logistics CROs have a role in managing the supply chain for investigational products including packaging labeling distribution and reconciliation uh, then uh, the CROs have a role in uh, quality assurance and auditing conducting quality assurance audits to ensure compliance with regulations and study procedures then they have a role in site training and support providing training to site personnel including investigators and study coordinators offer the ongoing support and guidance throughout the trial then medical writing and regulatory documentation the CROs have a role in uh, preparing the essential trial documents such as uh, clinical study reports investigator brochures and regulatory submissions sponsors uh, can choose uh, to outsource specific tasks or entire clinical trial to the CROs based on their needs and resources so it's a very short uh, information of all the clinical trial personnel who are all involved in the clinical trial and their roles and responsibilities i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button subscribe to our pharma topics channel kindly go through the all the videos uh, present in the playlist the clinical research and pharmacovigilance in the pharmaco uh, pharma topics channel and uh, score well in your forthcoming exams thank you